And everything we say is true. Shit, we could just be bullshitting, talk about nothing. It ain't have more truth than most of the motherfuckers' videos. They just bullshit. Hopefully someone got moshed to death. No, you put ain't no joke. We might bring out. Go ahead. You already got some. Oh. I'm just gonna start with this Lamentation 4 and 13. That's what's up. For the sins of her prophets and the iniquities of her priests that have shed the blood of the just in the midst of her, they have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood. Yeah, that's all these fools out here. But that's really talking about the, the priests of Israel. Like all these fake ass preachers, you got these churches teaching all that nonsense. Same thing, cause the black unconscious people, they like uh, they like preachers. David Ike's a preacher, you know what I mean? All, all these famous people you see on YouTube, all these conspiracy theorists, leaders, Steve Quayle, all these real popular people, man. They all uh, the wicked priests, man. Shed them blood. Oh, right, go ahead. Um. They have wandered. <coughs> they have, they have wandered as blind men in the streets. They have polluted themselves with blood, so that men could not touch their garments. They cried unto them, "Depart ye! It is unclean. Depart, depart! Touch not!" When they fled away and wandered, they said among the heathen, they shall no more sojourn there. The anger of the Lord had divided them. He will no more regard them. They respect not the persons of the priest. They favor not the elders. Like, this is amazing. Does it sound like wicked ass Yeah, wicked ass is like, they're always trying to do their own thing, start their own program. They don't want to follow the words of most high. You bitches need to shut up. Yeah. Cause ain't nobody out here teaching no truth, man. We the only ones out here teaching any kind of truth. Everybody else out here, they a bunch of dumb, retarded jackasses, man. They don't know a goddamn thing. We the only people out here teaching any truth. And the truth is the Bible. Where you go? Oh, uh, Jeremiah. Two. The priest. And yeah, we can read the whole chapter. Right. Said not, where is the Lord? And they that handled the law knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. Say they, they that handled the law knew me not. So you got a lot of people who know the Israelites and the Most High still is not dealing with them. Like your boy Nathaniel from Israel dying in Christ. He's always talking about the law, 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 right? The law, law. He an expert in the law. But the Most High ain't dealing with him. Period. Uh, you go up there. You're the fool. Yeah, because uh, he he makes fun of us and calls us faith-based Israelites, and everything is based upon faith. Because you get saved by your faith, not by keeping the laws. Right. Keep on. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. No, I'm saying it against them. Assholes. Oh yeah, that, well they think they can keep all the laws, right? They can't keep all the laws. This is true. They don't know. Him. They don't know him anymore. Yeah, they don't know him. Cause if you knew him, you'd know that you. Nobody got a whole lamb. They, they got know. a whole. They, yeah, they ain't got a flock at all. They going to the grocery store. Right. You going off? And you know their garments are probably made of probably made of twenty six. Cause that thread material. That thread ain't made of the same material as your uh, the rest of your garment. Your whole garment is supposed to be made of the same material from the head to the toe. Yep. Um, 
and they that handle the law knew me not, the pastors also transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal. Yeah, all, all these preachers in America, they actually preach to Baal. I mean, actually in secret, they actually worship Baal. Like when you go to these churches and you go to these uh, Sunday worships, first of all, they worship on Sunday. Sunday is the day of the sun. Cause they worship the sun god, okay? They worship Baal, they worship Saturn. Okay, that's why they celebrate Christmas on December 25th, which is a combination of Saturn worship and sun worship. It got to do with the, you know, the winter solstice. And you know they doing it intentionally. Oh, they, they know that, man. They go into fucking seminary school and they got Google. Man, you get on Google, you can't get around that shit no more. I can understand if it was 20 years ago, you know, you didn't know, you didn't have no Google. You couldn't look shit up, you had to go to a library. Yeah, but now with Google, you just type in Christmas and Pagan pops up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And there's no getting around it. There's no excuse, right? There's no excuse. You can't justify that shit either, man. That's right. Ain't no justify. Well, Christmas, I know it's Pagan, but uh, we still use it to, uh, to honor Jesus and uh, have fun with the family. Like your girl, the happy one that make it, that's making the play. Oh, yeah. Remember when she saw my Christmas? She, she said, she justified it. There's a lot wrong with it. Hey, pick, you know what? Let me just get that. You ain't gonna see me celebrating that shit. Let me just get that. There's a lot wrong. I said, the hell with your goddamn Christmas. And then everybody goes broke. They spending all that money to buy a bunch of cheap Chinese junk at uh, uh, Walmart. And then they waste all their money on Christmas. And then the people you give the presents to are ungrateful. Like, you got me the wrong thing. <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> Yo, so the hell with your Christmas, the hell with your Easter, and all your other dumbass holidays you celebrate. Tis the season, they gonna be best with missiles, hopefully. Tell Jeremiah 10 and 1, hear thee the word of the Lord, Hear, hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Um, thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, because Christmas goes back to the winter solstice, which is dealing with the signs in heaven, the position of the sun, astrology, just like Easter. Okay? So the Bible said, learn not the ways of the heathen. Only a goddamn heathen celebrates Christmas and celebrates Easter, okay? Be not, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yeah, because the heathen get all bugged out on the stars and shit, you know what I mean? They gonna sacrifice a child on the winter solstice, mm. on the summer solstice. For the customs of the people are vain. So yo, yeah, yeah your customs are vain. Celebrating Christmas is vain. Celebrating Thanksgiving is vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Yeah, you know the Bible says don't put a Christmas tree in your house. It's right there in the Bible. But y'all illiterate anyway, you can't read it. And most of these people are actually Ill illiterate. They got the reading comprehension skills of a third grader. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. Just like they do with a Christmas tree. They decorate a Christmas tree with silver and gold. They got that Christmas silver and gold. Silver and gold. <laughs> it's the Always got to do with a deep voice saying. By the way, Elvis sang the shit out of that one, didn't he? I remember him saying it. <laughs> oh shit, what a jackass. Yeah. <laughs> they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because. So that's proof right there. According to the Holy Bible, you're not supposed to put Christmas trees in your house. So. We pray, if you celebrate Christmas, if you put a Christmas tree in your house, we pray to the Most High that your Christmas tree catches on fire and burns your whole house down with everybody in it. 
Children and all. Everybody. Little bastard, cheat of my children, you motherfuckers. And all your little cheap little Chinese presents, we hope they get burned out too. Cheap Chinese <laughs> Y'all just wasting your money on a bunch of junk. You know what I'm saying? Don't America make anything? That's why they call y'all consumers. Because you do nothing but consume. You're a worthless eater, a useless eater. And that's why the elite plan on exterminating 80% of you. Spiritual gluttons. Yeah. <laughs> Spiritual but that, that's the plan. Google Georgia Guidestone. According to the Georgia Guidestone, the so-called the elite, the people who control the earth, they plan on exterminating 80% of the world's population because you are worthless and you are useless. And that's a fact. Back to Jeremiah 2. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walk after things that do not profit. Ugh. Oh, that's pretty much what that was in Jeremiah that I didn't read. What's up, boy? How you doing? What's up, man? I heard you guys talking and stuff, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we just came to talk about. Yeah, we just talking about the spirit had us talking about Christmas. Because if you know the history of Christmas, the ancient Romans, they when they celebrated, they celebrated Christmas on December 25th, and they said that was the birthday of the sun, of the sun god, Sol Invictus. So that's why Christians go to church these days on Sunday, the day of the sun. You see what I'm saying? This is all about sun worship. It's all paganism. That's why they uh that's why they celebrate Easter. The Bible said we're supposed to celebrate the Passover, not Easter. Because Easter comes from a word Ishtar. And Ishtar is that ancient Babylonian goddess of fertility. Or Ishtar. And the Bible names her by name. It says you worship them other gods, you get put to death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how long you guys been doing that? We been doing for years, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read this real quick. This is Exodus 20 and 1. And the Most High Spake. You said you've been doing this too? Ah, uh, we just like it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. It's always good to be reading the Bible. And the Most High Spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out oh, the land of Egypt. That's why America is spiritually known as Egypt. That's why you look on the back of a dollar, what do you see? It? A damn pyramid. Which goes back to paganism once again. Goes back to the worship of those ancient false gods. This is the spirit. This is the yeah. point. This is the point where I'm at right now. Thou I'm, I'm listening, man. I'm listening. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Yep. So I, that's why they got the eye of raw on the back of the dollar. And that's the sun god. Just like when you go to church on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Because they actually worship the sun god. What are they doing? All right. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters under the earth. The Catholic Church is heavy on graven images. They got the Mary uh, Guadalupe. You've seen that? That Mary, the, they worship Mary. They pray to Mary. They got pictures. They always wearing their crosses. They got the, the Caesar, because we ain't got our posters out here. Yeah, because yeah, that's a false image of uh, so-called Jesus they got. That's Jesus ain't look like that. Hell no. Jesus, he he look, uh, yeah. Plus Hell they always shown him dead too. You know what I'm saying? With blood dripping. Yeah, shit. with blood. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like a fucking faggot on the pro, you know. Nice. One, uh, one, one in thirteen. Revelation 1 verse 13. You do know Lord of Black Man, right? That's what everybody said. That's what everybody said. You don't, don't you read the Bible? You said you read the Bible, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is in the Bible. Yeah. Revelation 1 verse 13. Yeah, that's what you said. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a Clothed with a garment down to the down to the foot and grit about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were, were white like wool and white as snow. White like wool. So he, he got woolly hair. Describing the texture of his hair. Woolly. Only Negroes got their woolly. Well, actually, let me say Israelites. 
Let yeah. me just say, Israelites got their woolly, you know, texture with their hair. Afros and shit. Go ahead, bro. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Drinking that wine. Yeah, I hear cuz. I'll be over there in a second. Yeah, I'm listening, man. I'm, just, I'm and listening, man. his feet man. like unto fine brass. <laughs> feet like, like a fine brass. That's brass right there. That's similar to brass. There's no telling what these pennies is made of now. But that ain't, <laughs> that ain't no white man right there. That ain't no fucking sorry ass piece of shit of an Edomite right there. Man, why are you talking like that? Bro? Talking like what? Cursing talking like that. cussing. Yeah. You mean cursing? Yeah, Not cursing. cussing, cursing. Well, cuss come from the word curse. Right. It has nothing to do with um, words, you know. Cursing, yeah, because really a true curse, that's when you pray on the most high to bring evil on somebody. And there's a time and place for that too, you know? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I mean, you ain't gonna be uh, uh, blessing the fucking motherfucker that came in and robbed your house. Yeah. You ain't gonna bless a motherfucker like, that's killing your children. Yeah. You ain't gonna bless a motherfucker, you know what I mean? That's you, teaching you false religion, stole your identity. You ain't gonna bless nobody like that. You gonna curse them. I got a scripture to back you and up. And the Lord bro. did speak with uh with a with a rough language. He wasn't no he didn't sit around and walk around talking these talking to these mostly demons on the earth like a fucking faggot. Get Matthew, uh, get uh, Matthew 23 and 30. He was rough. You can't talk to these people that are no fucking good in a, in a, that's why they no good, cause ain't nobody, they, they don't hear nothing. Cause this Joe Osteen. They thing. don't hear shit. What, what I'm saying is it though, I mean, you're supposed to be sending a message out here. Then again, you over here. So, so we you, you, you more concerned with how I'm speaking and totally yeah. ignoring the message. I get wrong with bro. You know, there's Very a sweet. message that still can be heard. You know what I mean? That's why this is only for us uh, selected men anyway. Get that Romans 16. You know? Oh, yeah, right, right. Check this out, bro. This is a uh, second Corinthians. So look, you, you, if you would come out here and say, Jesus loves you. He loves you very much. In the fact, you don't want to hear that, man. He, 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 you got to curse these fools out. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he check this out. It. He died for it, did he? He died for Israel. Listen to this. He died for it, man. For Israel, yeah. Uh, second, man, he, he, he spoke rudely. Watch this. Second Corinthians 11 and 6. But though I be rude in speech, but though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, we have, we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all things. Though I be rude that was Paul. in speech. Well, Paul is a prophet, right? Uh, here's a rude speech right here. One pro Paul, okay. Paul was a man of lore, right? Yeah. This will get dumbfounded. Yeah, read it in. They, they get stuck and fucking stupid. Yeah, but they, they, I mean, it's all right, bro. Well, well, you know what I'm saying. I'm happy to cuss the motherfucker out today. I mean, you just, we just used to it. Go ahead. Matthew 23, verse 33. You servants, the generation of vipers. How can you escape the damnation of hell? Hey, the Lord just said two cuss words right there in one sentence. He said damn and hell in the same sentence. I mean, is that a cuss word? Once your mama smack you, you say damn. Damn. <laughs> then you say damn again, but actually smack you. Damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> My mom didn't let me say damn or hell. The Lord said two cuss words in one sentence. Two of them. In one scripture. Well, do some words just qualify for cuss words? Yeah, yeah they, I have yet to see that list of the words we're allowed to use <laughs> and not. That, that, that sounds foolish when you talk like that, man. Thank you. Let me get this fire. They'll listen to that rap music, though, won't they? All and day long. They'll watch them rated R movies. All day long. You know? All day long. Barack Obama never uses cuss words. Look at him. He dropped missiles on little children. Right. Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. That, that means stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So these people don't even know the difference between right and wrong. You know what I mean? They don't know basic, simple shit. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they get mad when you saying shit or fuck, but here they come in adultery. You know what I mean? They hanging around adultery. They, 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 they're worshiping, uh, Pagan holidays, celebrating pagan holidays, worshiping Baal. You know? Tis the season. Yeah, tis the season. They're putting a, a Christmas tree in their house, which is a grove of Asherah pole, uh, worshiping the Queen of Heaven mm -hmm. and Baal. 
Man, they call us the devil because we said fuck. Oh, here it goes. I'm going to start at 4, man. I'm just going to read them down to 8. Uh, this is Hosea 4 and 1. I'm going to start at 1. I'm sorry. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath con have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, no, no mercy. No truth, no. Oh, yeah, they they, 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 they unmerciful. Mm -hmm. They got no truth. Um, they got the nervous talk shit to us. Right. Nor knowledge they of got, the most high in the land. They got no knowledge. They don't know about, about uh, they don't know none of the commandments. They don't know none of the histories. They can't tell you a single king of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's their people, right? By swearing and lying and killing and stealing, stealing. and committing adultery. And that's one of the biggest sins, too. That's why the Lord put an emphasis on Israel. And he said, this is a wicked, mm -hmm. adulterous generation. Because mm -hmm. adultery runs rampant in America. All the women, by the time they're 18 years old, they don't have sex with a thousand men. That's adultery, okay? <laughs> Because mar uh, sex is marriage. According to the Bible, the act of sexual intercourse, that's marriage. So when a woman has sex with a man, she's married to that man and she cannot leave him for her whole life. So when a woman has sex with a thousand different men, that's a thousand accounts of adultery. Mm -hmm. Well, 999 accounts of adultery. That's right. <laughs> By swearing and lying and killing and stealing, and committed adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. It's just like these men too, they go around sleeping around with all these women. God, I fuck a bitch and leave a bitch. That, you, that's adultery, okay? Cause you can't just be fucking bitches and leaving bitches. You know, you ain't got no choice now. Cause the bitches just leave your ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> she get you right at that moment when you phone go too. Oh yeah, no, no, we don't love them hoes. That's right. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall be shall languish. Yeah, yeah, these fools going, they gonna languish, man. They already languish. Um, with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Yet let no man strive nor reprove another, for thy people are as they that strive with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day, and the prophet also shall fall with thee in the night, and I will destroy thy mother. Oh, uh, uh, hold up. I thought we supposed to be Let's like, I th destroy your mother. Like, what happened to dear mama? Dear mama. <laughs> Even though she was a crack fiend mama. You know, I, I should have deleted that song. That song about my shit. Yeah. I don't even want to hear that call. The most I fucked Tupac up just for that song. Right. And his mama left his dad. Oh, she left his dad? Sure oh, yeah, you know she did. Come on. She, she got a good excuse. They all these hoes got an excuse for why. Oh, he beat me. He hit me. He was no good. I always got an excuse. But they can get away with that shit in the wicked kingdom. In she Satan's kingdom. Right. She forget to mention that she was premeditating the past for the, the drug dealer down the street. Look, every woman I have ever been with, never dealt with, and I asked her what happened to her uh her last boyfriend or whatever. Because none of these hoes are virgins. By the time you got to a bitch, she done been with a hundred people. Every time I ask, what happened to your last boyfriend? Uh, he he hit me. He abused me. He cheated. Every me. last one of them say that, man. Yeah. Oh, Every last one of them say that, man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they ain't buying that shit. You know, niggas looking to hear that anyway, because they looking to commit adultery. They, they look. Yeah, they like, oh, baby, I'll treat you good. Right, right, right. They looking for the adultery act, for an adultery act anyway. Because that's adultery, man. Because it's glorified. Wicked ass Israel. Wicked ass Israel. We can't even stress that fucking enough. Yeah, wicked it's, ass it's, Israel. Israel is wicked as could be, man. Mm -hmm. um, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah, that's why, everybody, that's why everybody's fucked up. That's why we on slavery. That's why nobody has shit. That's why everybody's broke as fuck. People catching diseases. <laughs> Over half the population in America got STDs. We done brought that out a thousand times. We made, made a thousand videos on that. Motherfuckers got AIDS, STD, gonorrhea. Bitches pussies is populated with warts and... You smell it. Oh, yeah. You open your legs and you smell it, you know? We didn't make them, I mean, sound like we clean? No, we ain't making this shit up. And if, if they never committed adultery, they'd never have a single disease. Mm -hmm. 
Then you got the faggots, and that's a whole nother story. Oh, oh. <laughs> they took it to a whole new level. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They fuck a nigga in the ass and go straight home and fuck a, you know. Yeah, like, and there's, I seen this one dude on YouTube. He said, I was watching this. He's talking about, there's a story in the news where this dude got caught fucking a donkey. His next door neighbor seen it through the window. He was goodness. fucking a goddamn donkey. He was raping a donkey. Right, right. Oh my goodness. I saw the one when uh, the lady owned a dog kennel. And she hired the black dude to come in and clean up the shit, you know, spray yeah. it, you know, clean up. She's catching the motherfuckers fucking the pit bulls. That's, that's crazy. And they caught him in the act when the cops got there. That's disgusting. Who the fuck the fuck the pit bull, man? That's not illegal in Ohio. Oh yeah, yeah, it's legal. They actually, they actually passed laws about that. Man, we had that video. It's on YouTube somewhere, <laughs> where they showed them actually debating it in Ohio Senate or whatever, and everybody was laughing, making jokes, saying, ah, "We got to protect these animals." <laughs> yeah, joke. But but they tried to pass a bill to stop it, to stop these people from raping animals, but the bill failed. So you actually had opposition. Yep. Say, how dare you yep. try to stop me from fucking these animals? That's not the American way. The American way is to have freedom to do what you want. I'm not making this shit up, man. <laughs> I'm glad you said that because I forgot about that. Ain't that crazy? That's crazy. That's the man. American way. Have that freedom to do what the fuck you want. But the Bible ain't with that shit. Cause uh, let me check, show you, show you this. This is some Leviticus 20 and 15. And if a man lie with a beast. He shall surely be put to death. And ye shall slay the beast also. Because that's confusing to a damn animal or a fucking German shepherd or I mean, you know, you know these people got a preference on what kind of dog they like to fuck. You know they got a preference. Oh, that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it comes to, it's confusing to a beast. That's why it's called a beast. The beast gonna think that shit is normal, man. Well, every day it's gonna be looking forward to sniffing that pussy or just, you know, spreading whatever ass. <laughs> Cause that's po that's popular for a woman, for one of these hoes out here to let a dog lick their pussy. Yeah. Cause a dog will lick that motherfucker all day long. Yeah. Put, put some peanut, peanut butter. butter. <laughs> peanut butter. Is it peanut butter? Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Cause they found out what an that's animal what a dog likes to lick most, man. Peanut butter. What's up, bro? Oh. Okay. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> Wow. You know that causes infections on the pussy anyway. <laughs> Shit. Peanut butter. That's wow. fuck. These men, these bitches is crazy. Peanut butter. The Browns, man. The, the Browns. fuck? Fuck the Browns. The Browns play the Bengals this tonight. Give us a fuck. Oh, I don't give a fuck either. Yeah, I, don't, I don't ever watch it, but you know that's... Got Ohio stuck on stupid. Like, yeah, that's right. That's got Ohio. <laughs> Browns and Bengals. The fuck America versus Russia. <laughs> right. That don't matter. It's all about Browns versus Bengals. That's right. That's right. Or Ohio State versus Michigan. Yeah, yeah. The hell with nukes and what what's really going on and what really matters. If only they knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if a man lies with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto any beast, wait a minute, I gotta do quick. And if a woman approach unto any beast, he said approach. Well, that's not some men. They've been doing it back then. And well, lie down there too. Well, Wait. just like uh, the Edomites, the so-called Jew over there in Israel, they got a law in the Talmud that says mm. if a woman has sex with an animal, she, animal, she's qualified to marry a priest. It says it is merely a wound. That's right. <laughs> what kind yep. of fucking shit is that? Some heathen shit. Some heathen shit. That's nasty, man. That's fucking nasty. But yeah, why, why is there laws in the Bible on that? They, they actually had a problem with that going back thousands of years ago. Beast. You know what? You would look at a woman if she slept with another man like you want to you kill her, right? Hell yeah. I mean, how are you going to look at her if she's sleeping with a beast? <laughs> wow, man. Hey, that donkey show is popular. Yo, everybody know about this. Go down to Tijuana, watch the donkey show. Mm. And motherfuckers be, hey, they be waiting in line to watch that shit too. Like, oh boy, I'm going. This is my first time to see the donkey show. I can't wait. Mm, that's crazy. And if a woman approach unto any beast and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman, 
Yeah, that bitch get, so you supposed to get put to death for that. And not fucking counsel. Or praise. <laughs> Thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. Or an animal gotta get put to death too. Thank you. Just cause it's been, uh, Thank you. cause it's been, uh, defiled. You know what I'm saying? So you're really helping the animal out. You think it's cruel, but nah, it's showing mercy on the animal because he's just been defiled and shamed. You know what I'm saying? Right. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Just like them Hamites. We just watched that video you showed me about the Hamites. Mondo Magic. The Mondo Magic. And they got like, they got actual videos on YouTube of them Hamites over there in Africa. Licking the cows, pussy, Ooh. fucking the cows. That's some disturbing shit. Oh shit, you see what them Hamites was doing? It was just in the news. There's some goddamn Hamites. They 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 just having some kind of tribal war or something. I forget exact story. But anyway, they took one of the leaders of the enemies, they killed his ass, cooked him, and everybody ate him. What the fuck? And the same people over there. Uh, uh, fucking cows, licking cows, pussy, eating people, and they say if uh, you eat an albino, it give you magical powers. That's all it's demon shit. But you got people claiming to be African, like them black and conscious fools. That's why an Israelite over there came up with that. What the albino shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't be surprised. Israel do some wicked shit, actually. They surpass the wickedness of the wicked. Mm -hmm. That's that's scripture. Cause they they they, they learn from the heathen, but says, but they, they'll take the heathenism to a whole new level and that the heathen couldn't even imagine. They step, they step up that game, huh? Like the heathen the heathens invented Christmas, but Israel took Christmas and ran with that shit. Now look at it. It's the craziest, wicked, most demonic festival you've ever seen in your life. Mm -hmm. They making movies on it, singing songs about it. Motherfuckers spend their whole paycheck on presents. Spend it, they, they spend money they ain't got running up their credit cards. Get their car repossessed the next in January. Yeah. Because they couldn't, they, they came for that Christmas shit. Then they, yeah, then they trying to fight with the repo man. <laughs> like it was his fault. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Dumbass is. Dumb well, I seen some shit. repo man. Remember that repo man we seen come in apartments on one day? He was in and out with the quick, quick hunt. He the was like, poop, poop. That's one of my minute. favorite shows to watch is the repo show. Them motherfuckers, boy. That's still on. They smooth with they shit. It's not on right now, but it'll be back on. That's a popular show, too. Mm -hmm. Well, really? there's two of them. Like, there's Lizard Lake towing, and then there's South Beach towing. Like, South Beach tows on now, and when that goes off, Lizard Lake could be back on. Mm -hmm. That's still some evil shit when you think about it. For the car, shouldn't even cost that damn much. You know what I mean? Dude, because everybody talking about, oh, I got my car. I got a nice car. You ain't got shit. The bank has a nice car. You know what I mean? You don't have nothing. He's like, I'm super late, and he's walking all slow, like, really late. <laughs> Just like everybody's like, I got a nice house. They, they talk about your shit's raggedy. But they, but they don't own that house they live in. The bank owns it. And e even if you do pay off your house, you still gotta pay property tax. Don't pay that property tax, and the government will repossess your house. <laughs> and I heard still, if you it, even if you still own it, yeah, to get a title where you don't pay property, there's something called an allodial, I think, an allodial property title. You ever hear that? That's where you can get it, so you don't pay property tax. I heard somebody talk. Yeah, it's a secret. That these deep devils do got secrets. That um, I heard a sovereign citizen talk about. It. Yeah, they have. Um, they can own a house. They can own many houses. Those houses are now occupied. They don't have to pay in that house that much. Yeah, there's all kind of secrets in court. Even the judge can say to hell with you anyway, and not follow the law. Oh, she's on trick and shoot. But there's that secret though. I heard. I learned. I don't know how true this is, but if you get pulled over by the cops, never tell them that you're driving. You tell them that you're traveling. They ask you where you're driving. I'm like, I'm traveling. Sir, I'm traveling. You just keep saying you're traveling. There's a difference between driving and traveling. Driving is a commercial enterprise. Travel, you have the right to travel. 
Oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, look at Google that shit. Driving versus traveling. Google yeah. it. I dare you. This is an actual video on, on YouTube from our teacher. I seen this dude. I posted it on Twitter months back. And the dude actually went to court. And the judge dropped that shit. Wow. Because he had all of his papers and everything. He had the laws. He said, I have the right to travel. Because right. it's against the law to, to make you have a driver's license. Because driver's license, you're not required to have a driver's license. Okay. This is Jeremiah 4, 5, and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. Wicked men. Oh, that's uh, that's a lot. <laughs> Two thirds of Israel is no goddamn good. Yeah, that's right. Wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snare. They. It's like a lot of our. We talking about the cops. A lot of our people are cops too. They they love to oppress their own people. Our people love to. Talking about, I'm going to, especially these bitches. Talking about, I'm going to school for criminal, uh, what's that, criminal justice? Or, I'm going to be a lawyer. CSI. They, they watch too much CSI. Yeah. But they so quick to get into that law enforcement shit to oppress their own people. It's like my nephew, bro. Oh, yeah? Remember when I was down here, Mom? Oh, he was going for law school. 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 Yeah. I would have liked He's like in his fourth year or some shit like that. Oh, fuck that shit. All right. Like these motherfuckers want to be a uh, work at the uh, correctional, be a correctional officer. You deserve to get shanked in a prison right doing that shit, man. But really, this is talking about people in the hood, really, though. And it's talking about people in the truth to know they're Israelites, taking advantage of people. Because most of these people out here claim to be Israelites on YouTube, especially people like Nathaniel and Bubble Eyes and uh, Johanna. And plus all these preachers, all these uh, religious motherfuckers, man. All, they just... They just making merchandise of your ass, taking advantage of you, setting a trap for you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, setting a fly trap, a glue trap. You step in that trap, you stuck. They lay wait as he that set a snare. They set a trap. They catch men. Big ass bear trap. You step in that bear trap. Shit, take your whole leg off. Goddamn leaves stink. Bear trap. Fish is falling. Vicious club. You know, a lot of times, motherfuckers get stopped and they can't even open it up to themselves. Oh, that'd be some pain right there, yeah, boy. That's some horror. That's some horror. Most I does that to a wicked man. Man, I can't even imagine that happening to me, man. <laughs> bear, what, is, what are they called? Bear claws? A bear trap? A bear trap. Well, there's different sizes of them. You got a the, bear can, the bear does me. A bear will rip his leg off, if, you know, just to get out of it. What kind of, yeah, only a fucking dumbass will go around setting traps like that. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Kill that motherfucking bear the old fashioned way. Right. Man, man. Well, you need to kill, way you can get your fur. There's nothing wrong with getting fur and shit. But... They eat bear, bro. I ain't eating no goddamn bear. You eat bear, bro. That is like eating a dog. Ain't they related to dogs? Uh, a bear is like a big ass dog, ain't it? Yeah. They got the same type of noses. Because they prefer to eat a brown, a, a black bear. Instead of a brown bear, makes I don't the logic behind that I don't fucking know. You ain't supposed to eat no fucking bears. Eating bears. Yeah, hey, they ain't got no hooves. They got paws. You ever watch that adultery show, Naked and the Afraid? They in the wild naked. Oh, the uh, woman meets the man that they never met before. They live in the, the, the woods somewhere on the earth for two, for three weeks, man. They find fucking clothes. naked. Nah, they walk the whole time, man. They naked, man. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a popular, it's popular as fuck. The That's fucking show. Shit like that sound popular. It's called Naked and Scared, man. Anyway, these motherfuckers be catching snakes and all kind of shit eating, man. They don't even bear to, they don't even waste their time to, uh, take time to skin this fucking snake. They just eat all the oh, shit, man. man. Eating spiders and caterpillars and mm -hmm. shit. Being grills. Oh man. That's the man that does all that shit. Spiders, man. The fuck will eat a spider? Shit, I seen on the news today. There's this dude who's got this snake-proof suit, and he got ate by an anaconda. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Oh, he, he already fed, did it. He found yeah. himself attention. And he made, and he got out alive. What kind of dumbass to feed themselves to a snake? <laughs> they, they're calling it animal abuse. They're trying to get the show pulled. Only a fool would come up with that dumb shit. Um, who was like that? Oh, okay, they I swear I just can't push it. Uh -huh. <laughs> they catch men as a cage is full of birds, 
so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. They are waxen fat. They shine, yea. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. They over, that man, that's, that's Israel right there, man. And that's especially these fools like, like Nathaniel and all these preachers. All these motherfuckers taking advantage of their own people, taking their money, man. And then they like to wax and rich. They get paid. Get paid. It's all about getting paid. Pockets be fat. I was watching a dumb ass video of that stupid ass nigga Nas. He was in front of that dude that do your um, DNA check or do your family ancestry back to slavery or some bullshit. Anyway, so Nas sitting there reading and he found out that it's on his mom's side. Uh, this, the slave, the bitch was bought for $800. He's like, oh, I got more than that in my pocket right now. Who what fucking normal nigga walking around with $800 in their pocket? Somebody who's gonna wanna get robbed? <laughs> a fool. He did get robbed too. A fool. <laughs> he bragging about his money, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's just a simple nigga, man. Think he hard. He ain't even hard either. I think, ain't think never he... like Nas. All right, but man, I like this first album. I never like Nas. <laughs> well, I was just a youngster. I didn't know any better. Motherfucking Nas. Remember when he got off the, the plane in, um, in Belly? When he went to Africa and he was talking about how beautiful it was. The air even smelled different. Oh, man. Oh, he, I was like, oh, this motherfucking clown. Oh, man. <laughs> but how can, how can we ain't living in Africa? Why is Africa. he still up? Why yeah, why, he should go to Syria or Africa. wherever that Ebola is. Yeah, you take your ass to uh, Liberia. <laughs> right. Sierra Leone. <laughs> This man ran into a dude from Sierra when I was like, about Oh shit, ago. stay away from me. About a month ago. Yeah, he's been here for like, nah, but that's like a year. They ain't that many people got in the Sierra. He was an Israelite too. No, nah, I heard there's only like four it's cases or hey, something. Hey, don't you know they saying um, villages are coming up missing? Yeah, whole villages. Whole villages, man. And you know the villages are Israelites. <laughs> oh yeah, so hopefully, hope, Lord willing, that Ebola will start kicking the go. high gear now. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one right there. It's nice and Yeah, but you know, because they haven't been talking about Ebola much since the elections have been going on. So now the elections is over, you're going to start hearing about them Ebola cases. They've been hiding. I hope so, man. I hope it gets like a walking dead out of this motherfucker. I'm so tired of hearing about this stupid ass election shit. Motherfuckers ain't going to make no difference. I'm talking about Republicans taking over? They ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. They a bunch of Jew loving motherfuckers anyway. Oh, they got control of the Senate. But the, the funny thing they about got control of the House and Senate. Did they House yeah. too? House. I didn't know that. They I had the House. They, I didn't know that. they said they got more seats than since the 1920s. They must set a record. And yeah. plus with women too, they got set a record with women. Oh, like that bitch Mia Love, that uh, black bitch. Yeah, right. right. She uh, yeah. she, she yeah. won the seat from uh, Utah. Mm -hmm. She a Mormon. Yeah. That's crazy. The funny thing about Republicans, Republicans have already have always had a so-called history of being more lenient towards black people. The dumbass niggas don't even know that shit, man. Even though we ain't saying we you supposed to get into politics. Exactly. But he's right though, because the Democrat hey, did y'all know the Democrat uh the Democratic Party founded the KKK? <laughs> The old black people are Democrats, but the Democrats started that KKK. So how stupid are, how stupid are you? Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln was a Republican. That's right. Mar Martin Lucifer King was a Republican. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine that. These people are stuck on stupid. They like Mar MLK. MLK, that means Moloch. <laughs> it means King. Here comes Raiden. It means King, but that really means Moloch Baal. He's the devil. <laughs> Who else? Yeah, this is a, yeah, because Republicans. Um, oh, that's hey. Crocodile Dundee. Uh, cool. oh, hey. I like that coat. Should knock his ass out and take it. Looks like a Mortal Kombat you, you character. You got some gator meat right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my man. You want to do a fatality you on your ass? Hat? I do need to give me a black one though. He I gotta the, give me a cowboy brown. hat. He had the brown one. I'm gonna give me a cowboy hat, some sunglasses. That'd be my new disguise. Keep forgetting I have my ring. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, I got a cowboy hat. That way, because I get out, you know, I'll be out in public on the bus. I hate it when motherfuckers what recognize. Up, you wear a cowboy hat all year round. Yeah. It ain't just a gift, you know, season. That's a, that's a, you know who started the cowboy hats too? The Mexicans. 
No, Jake took that down there. Jake was escaping slavery when he left after slavery. Oh, did he? Yeah, Jake was rebelling. You know, he had the nature of a, a cow, you know. Well, I know because the Mexicans are ranchers. Yeah, but. So, so a lot of that cowboy culture did come from the Mexicans. Jake was called, niggas was called cowboys. Cowboys. Because they was out herding okay. cows. They was called boys. Well, I know it was Jake that started cowboy. it. I know it was Jake that started that shit. Yeah, it was, so actually cowboy was a, is an insult. Cowboy, calling somebody a cowboy is an insult. Cowboy. Who they, else was called Boy? Man, they showed you that in that movie Unforgiven. How uh, Clint Eastwood's best friend was a black dude. That's my shit right there. That's like the best movie That's ever made, man. Shit. That's one of the best movies. Oh, yeah. Did you catch the, uh, the videos on Buzz Sawyer? Yeah, I was watching. No, I watched it. Oh, movie. man. I, I didn't get deep into it. <laughs> yeah, you boy Buzz Sawyer oh, go hard. I'm telling you, man, you ain't seen nothing yeah, yet. Yeah, he goes hard. You ain't seen nothing yet. That's where Stone Cold got his shit from. His oh, whole, yeah. His whole way of, his whole character is from Buzz Sawyer. Boy, Sawyer's is my motherfucking dog, man. I ain't, I ain't been on a wrestling rampage in a minute. I'm getting that spirit sometimes. I start watching that wrestling and I can't stop. <laughs> I watch one video, one video leaves to 20 videos. Oh, God. Then I start listening to the interviews. <laughs> Actually, it was more entertaining than Oh, shit, I didn't even notice right now. Oh, I got a hood on. He's way entertaining than the wrestling. Way, I been getting into that shit, boy. And now, man, I, I was watching, um, what's it called, Monday Night Raw, man? That's just turn garbage. Shit on quick as garbage. Oh, they got this new show on the CW. It's like King of the Ring. Or... Ain't that here? No, Columbus? that's Ring of Honor. Yeah, Ain't Ring of Honor. Columbus? Ring of Honor's old. It's been around for like 10 years. I've never Something's seen it. Columbus, though. Maybe it was Ring of Honor. I think it was Ring of Honor. It's here. It's popular here. Yep. I, think, I think that's it. Yep, it's here in Columbus. Well, the WW, uh, WWF used to be stationed here in Columbus. Wow. I remember it was stationed right downtown in the uh, convention uh, center. Um, um, the Howell Center. Or the Ohio Center. Yes, in the Ohio Center. Ohio yeah. Center. They used Damn, to do that, that bus about hit that car. They used to do the Saturday morning show right out that, uh, right I here. I didn't know that though. I didn't know that. I knew That's that. cool as hell though. Hey, what? Reporting from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> that was my shit. Hey, Columbus, Ohio. Period, man. A lot of shit came to Ohio, man. Yeah. Macho, Macho Man, the Macho Man Randy Savage came from Columbus. Look at that bus. It's right up on that car. Dig it. <laughs> but you have people try to say Macho Man, oh, he's just a cracker. Is he going into slavery? Him and his baby's going into slavery. That sounds like a food talk. Yeah, that sounds like a food, man. Food. Goddamn can't, Macho can't Man. Can't judge a spirit between a worm and a man. That's oh, a the bus hit that car. Yeah, if you heard Macho Man talking, say you just heard audio, no video. You think he was a black dude. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Swerping down he is. He got, he got so much soul and swagger up in it. He don't know about the That's why he became a major star, period. Yeah, he he took, saw him. Bless him. Yeah, he came out of nowhere, too. He just took the fuck over. Fucking macho, man. Motherfucking What was we talking about? I'm about to die with a massive heart attack. <laughs> oh, I'm finishing this Jeremiah. Um, they overpassed the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause. Oh, oh, see, that's another thing too about the wicked. Like we talking about, like Macho Man's the Israelites. You got a lot of people that have a problem with us saying that. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, wicked demon, man. I got a scripture to back that up too. The cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy, do they not judge? That sounds just like Pastor Court Charles. Oh yeah, Pastor Deacon Nola. What about that somebody down in Florida? There's a World War II veteran oh. who, who just got arrested for feeding the homeless. And three a, people did. Three people got arrested for feeding the fucking homeless. They just passed a law yesterday that said you can't feed the homeless, so they go out just to break the so law. So they pretty much they pretty much saying y'all animals in the zoo don't feed the animals at the zoo. The funny pretty thing much. is, I, I thought they wouldn't even like take it. You know, the, uh, some cops be like, oh. Man. Yeah, that's yeah, a little bag. Yeah, you know, they, 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 they so brainwashed, they into that shit. Yeah, yeah. They, you know? They arrested you twice. That's fucked up, man. 90 something years old, man. Um, you know, a motherfucker, World War II vet. He done seen hell on earth, literally, probably. Literally. You know what I mean? Just trying to help a motherfucker out. But, you know, he was probably helping some demons anyway. Lord said, don't give that bread into the wicked. <laughs> 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 There's a reason the most I let it go down. Know us who thou do us do us good to. Yeah. <laughs> that means nobody, this is out yeah, motherfuckers are homeless for a reason. They are doing some wicked shit. This is just for edification's sake. People watching the video. Oh yeah, go ahead. We 
get that, I gotta bring this other scripture out. Oh, I was just wanted to bring a proof out. That, you know, the Israel, what he's talking about how Macho Man is an Israelite, because the Israel is scattered among all nations. That's something a lot of these fools can't understand out here. They, they think Israel is a skin color. They think nationality is based upon the color of your skin. Nationality is based upon the seed of your father, not skin color. Okay, because Israel come in all shades and all colors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's what some people can't understand. You got Chinese motherfuckers out here who are actually Israelites. You got, you know what I mean? People from all nations. I got a scripture for that. Uh, Revelation. Uh, let me find it. Oh, what you got? What's what you talking about? No who. No, I got it. Revelation 5 and 9. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and thou hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. You see that? It says that the Lord redeemed Israel out of every tongue, out of every kindred, out of every people and out of every nation. And that's like, that's really the main thing that we out here teaching. When we get down to it, that's like the, one of the main, most important things you're supposed to be teaching is that Israel scattered. That's like our, the main focal point. Because what did the Lord say? In the mission statement, in a pretty much mission statement, he said, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, preaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So we're supposed to teach Israel, not the heathens. The Israel scattered among the heathen. That's why the Lord said, go teach the uh, gospel to all nations, baptizing them in my name. That's right. Uh, so go ahead. All, all the elect ain't gonna look the fucking same. Right. Otherwise, why would you have to teach all nations? Thank you. That don't make no goddamn sense. Thank you. Thank you. The people that teach that, man, that they, their, their wisdom is limited as a motherfucker. It's very limited, man. They don't understand. Yeah, that's why we gonna curse them, too. We gonna curse them. And the Lord gonna fuck y'all up, man. And you people say that the heathens can be saved, we'll get fucked up too. And they get confused, they don't understand that Israel scattered. They think actual heathens can be saved. That don't make no sense. Shit. Only the heathens, and they're not there so they can be saved. It's just they're not gonna touch, the destructions at the end with the missiles not gonna touch them. And that's the elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Dupont.